I wrote a song about Christine. It's called Dirty Christine. And it's a song about just connecting. A real deep, passionate song about making love with somebody and you're just one. Even though it's dirty, just means she's just so open. And it's a very sexual song. She's a bitch and a In no way is this offensive. I celebrate women. She does like the song. Well, Chris says he has been chasing the fame train for the last 30 years. He says he has manipulated countless women and even his own parents to fund his rock and roll lifestyle. Now you want 90 grand for what? Ha <laughs> um, ha! Well, I, I want to, I need to focus my energy on something. You want to be a helicopter pilot? I want to be a helicopter pilot. Yeah. <laughs> I want to fly people around LA. I don't think I'd want you flying my helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, well, I no, just might be, you never be know. Real. You know, you it's, never all, be. it's all about the title and not about the substance. It's yeah. not about flying people around, like Dr. Phil said. It's, it's not about the music, it's about you. You have to work to get ahead, hey. and that's what you don't want to do. I've always had a you job. You just want to be I've always had a job. Out there. Maybe so, you just don't have the talent for this particular thing. It's possible. But you say it's just timing. You've been at it for... How long? I understand what you're saying, but it's also music business that minute. doesn't exist anymore. You know, my song's been playing on the radio at home. People love them. Uh, I'm psychology and I Pass. talk about it, so maybe Pass. I don't have expertise in the music business, but I have a lot of friends in the music business and I, I talk to them, I ask people about these things, and I have somebody here I want Chris to meet. His band has sold over 100 million CDs and DVDs worldwide. He's celebrating a 40th year and continues to sell out stadiums and arenas. Breaking box office records set by Elvis and the Beatles. They were inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2014. Please welcome my good friend of KISS, Gene Simmons. <laughs> Good to see you, Dion Pell Nice to see you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Nice to see you. Oh, great demon. Hi, good looking. How's it going, baby? Um, baby. <laughs> baby. Maybe you should be a comedian. I uh, came to America as an eight and a half year old immigrant with my mother. And you've got a sob story. Mine's much bigger than yours. My mother was a concentration camp survivor at 14. So if we're going to play Mine's Bigger Than Yours, it actually mine is. And I came to... <laughs> absolute, absolute, I came. absolutely. The book was phenomenal. I've read it five times. But I'm, but I'm actually here to support you, so just hold on right. with the, uh, the bumps here. So I, you are a powerful and attractive man. Thank you. Okay, but that's genes. Other than that, it's your responsibility to do something with that God-given gift. So, uh, and I'm not, I'm not playing, you know, anything for them. I'm just telling you my story. So I started off not being able to speak English, and it was my inferred fiduciary duty. It was my responsibility to learn the language, learn people's skills, go to school, become... I started working at 12 years of age, never borrowed a dime. I taught sixth grade in Spanish Harlem, was the assistant to the director of the Puerto Rican Interagency Council in New York City, a government research and demonstration project, Man Friday for the editor of Vogue magazine, ad infinitum, ad nauseum. And on the side, I had just as big of a delusional notion about myself as you do. And I'm here you to- save your money. Saved every, yes, I am Jewish. <laughs> and, and I'm here to tell you that I fully support, I was watching backstage and I think Dr. Phil does what he does best which is tough love. I'm here to tell you that being delusional about yourself and I have this dream and I'm God's gift to mankind, that's great. And I support you and I that's hope it. you do become the next Elvis. You need However, a support act? But get a damn job and pay back every, everybody all their money. If this is your dream, 
do whatever you can afford. I mean, if, if you want to do this, that's great. But you pay the freight. You don't bleed a, 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 a woman over here and use the fact that she loves you against her. If you want to be a rock star, great. But pay the freight. That, you know, Gene says he worked every job in the world. You work none. He was willing to do what he had to do to get the access. You're doing nothing. You're riding on people's coattails. Pay your own freight. Get yeah, a job. Well, I've always taught kids music. I mean, <clears throat> I still do that. It's just not very successful anymore. So now well, that I have no quit qualifications. you doing it. Well, pay I mean, the own no freight. You don't bleed your mother of all of her money so you can go out and be a poser. If you really want to be... <laughs> A musician, you earn the right to do it. All of this stuff you got, you ought to sell every damn bit of it and you ought to give all of the money back to your mother. <laughs> and then pursue your dream. If it's what you want to do, pursue your dream. I'm not telling you to give it up, I'm just telling you to quit making other people pay for it. When I was sitting back there, I felt for you because I wouldn't want to be sitting in your seat. You said yourself, music and all that, and you're dreams of becoming a rock star is the most important thing. Above your daughter, above your mom and dad, above the woman who loves you, above anybody else, and you'll do anything to get there. Yes. So I was feeling for you because I saw people smirking at you and making fun of you, and maybe you're not Elvis and stuff. I get it. So you come touch the thing that I'm most passionate about, then all the defense mechanisms go up, and I don't hear anybody because you reject my dreams. I felt for you. I don't think anybody should have a damn thing to say about your, your dreams, because we all have dreams. I want to be, and then fill in the blanks. Right. And anybody who says it, so I'm with you. I think you should get out there and, be, and put on your cape, and, you, and I'm God, I'm it. Great. By the way, I do think you've got a stage persona, some kind of vibe. You work to the camera well. Whether you can write songs or not, I don't know, but you, you've got, I got a song writing down. Okay, well then we're done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would say my songs are the best thing about me. The but. best, uh, really? Yeah. Not, yeah. not a father, not a <laughs> yeah. well, I husband. Well, I split those worlds. I split those worlds. worlds. But so what I'm saying is, I felt for you when somebody was attacking your dreams. Have your day job, make money, go do whatever it is that you want to do. I mean, you can be Superman, but for God's sakes, even he's Clark Kent. He goes to work. <laughs> So it's, it seems to me, sitting back there watching on the screens, is the people who love you the most maybe are, the, are your worst enablers, and I'm not the doctor here. It's been a 30-year ride, that's for sure. Well, it's never too late to straighten up and be a man. First thing we need to do, you and I be a man. Stand up, go out there and earn a living. You don't have to earn, you don't have to be the richest guy in the world, just pay the bills, and then on the side, let anybody be careful what they say about your dreams. And I'm on your side. Leave my dreams alone. That's my passion. Great. Get a job. We've supported his dreams. <laughs> One of the most outrageous things uh, Chris said to us before the show when we come back. Well, we're back talking to uh, Chris. We have his mother, stepfather, and his ex fiance here. We've been talking about his dreams, and we have a very special guest. Gene Simmons is here. Um, Gene, is, Gene is giving some, uh, giving some advice, saying, look, don't let people walk on your dreams, but be a man and get a job. And I, listen, I can embrace that 100%. To be a man, you gotta take care of your child. You've got to take care of your child. And dream, no dream, that child didn't get a vote. She's here, you're her daddy, and you need to step up and take care of your daughter. I don't care what else you do. I love her very much. You need to step up and take care of your daughter. You need to stop. You need to stop bleeding your mother. Your mom melts when she sees you or hears your voice. Yep. The woman you love and the women who want to be with you and all this stuff, they just adore. The guys can sometimes see through, get out of here. They'd say, you know, because you can't use 
you're a good looking guy. You'll be very popular in jail, by the way. Yes, yeah, thank you. <laughs> You, you may like that sort of thing, and that's fine with me. But I'm just, I'm no, just, I'm no. just here to tell you that one day, and I had to deal with this in my growing up with my mother. One day, my mother's not going to be here. So I'll talk first because this chokes me up every time. So, and I have a daughter, and I have a son with the woman I love, who stuck by my sorry ass for 29 years, yes. never tortured me about getting married, and then finally, on the 29th year, I said, if I don't marry this woman, I'm gonna die alone, warped, bitter, and die a miserable son of a bitch. And I'm telling you that all the people that love you are here today, and you have a chance, you really do. The past may not matter, You've heard a lot of people, it seems. I'm not here to judge. I'm saying that today you have a chance of turning everything around because we're all going to get a open, turn. Open for kiss? Yeah. Okay, keep going. So you'll have a clear conscience, and on your tombstone, just like on mine, we all wanted to say thank you and good night. Uh, all right. Thank you. We've got to stop. And I, I tell you what I am going to do. I, I will arrange to get you some professional help. I will arrange to get you, Thank you sir. a life coach. And then you can pursue whatever you want to pursue. Fair, Fair enough. enough? Fair enough. All right, guys, we got to go. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Right, I appreciate it. All right. Let's go get around and we get out of here. Yeah, come on.